What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of the Nerd Chase channel. I'm your boy Nerd Chase and in this video we're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now this was a request from one of our viewers. They wanted to see my thoughts on it and I'm here to go ahead and just say it. Um, I'm interested. I've if you haven't seen my video on the Jeepers Creepers series, we did the break of debates on it. It was a really good video. Where we talked about the first, second, I believe the third film. Yeah, we did talk about the third film in that as well. And we talked about, you know, good ideas for possibly another uh, another series or another series of films. And how we here we go. I do like the Jeepers Creepers series, despite the controversy uh, around the director, Victor Salva. But uh, the third movie I just thought was completely horrible. The second movie I thought wasn't as good as the first movie was still pretty good. And now we have Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now, if th is this a full-on reboot? I'm not really sure. I know this is going to be in a different direction. I know it's going to be, hof uh, hopefully, beginning of a new trilogy. And I'm interested to see where they're going to go with it. I do wish that this would have the same continu continuity of the original trilogy because I, I for one thing I hate when people reboot stuff that shouldn't really be rebooted and since Jeepers Creepers is something that's kind of through like throughout time it really doesn't make sense to reboot it it could just be a different time period either it could happen before the events of the uh, original trilogy or it can happen after so there's really no reason to actually reboot uh, Jeepers Creepers in that sense now let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this your argument. I just got through going through and doing some research and writing up my post on my website, which I will leave a link to in the description below so you can uh, get further detail into it. But uh, the fourth film is actually supposed to drop this year. Not really sure when it's supposed to drop, but it should be somewhere in the fall. Usually that's a decent time, uh, especially for horror films, because you know the summer blockbusters always are dropping and then right after summer blockbusters are starting to ramp up into the horror films so this would be a pretty good time although this using the Jupiter's Creepers timeline within the stories takes place in the spring so it does kind of make sense for it to be in the spring too so you know, we're looking at probably somewhere between August and September for this film to drop now this movie instead of it being Victor Salva will be directed by Timo Verisola completely butchered that name I've looked at some of the films that he's done Star Wreck series the Iron Sky uh, series and it's got me worried because one I've heard of Iron Sky and I haven't seen it yet but he does not have a big filmography at all so I'm like I'm not really impressed at all with this guy's so I'm like uh, should he be the guy to be doing this now I'm not opposed to people who end up getting big budget stuff and they just take off of what they get. Uh, Jordan Peele did it uh, when Get Out. I mean, yes, he had been in a bunch of skits and stuff, but not actually like a, a full-on movie like that. I think the dude that did, um, what's that, uh, what's that, sh what's that movie? Uh, dang. It's one of my favorite movies. Uh, Don't Breathe. No, no, not Don't Breathe. I think it was uh, Lights Out. I think that dude did the same thing. I think it may be like a second or third film and then it just blew up with that one. And it was somebody else that I had seen that had maybe about three uh, movies. The dude that did Aquaman. I think he uh, I think he was, he was. had like three or four films. He didn't have that many films before he got a big budget movie. Um, but then when he got it, you know, I'm, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong or anything, uh, but I like it when I, I, I do find it awesome when I do see a director who doesn't have a really big filmography who gets, you know, something this precious, this big, this one, you know, people love so much. This is something this pretty much iconic because at this point, Jeepers Creepers is part of the horror figure icon, and that's not to say that he doesn't actually uh, deserve that. So. I am a bit worried about this guy's, this director's filmography, so hopefully he can't impress me. I just wasn't really uh, impressed with his re resume. And then the script would be written by Sean Michael Argo. I went over and looked over his filmography too. He usually do B's mo B movies. For the most part, I don't like really, I don't like B movies like that, so I hope that this movie, it does not have a B movie feel to it. I hope this has an actual good script with good characters that make good decisions now 
I haven't gotten a listing yet of the cast members, and it is kind of uncertain if Jonathan Breck will reprise his role as the Creeper. Now, I'm not say, I'm not the guy that's like, okay, this person has to keep playing this role every single time there's a movie, every single time there's a reboot. If you listen to what I said about the Friday the 13th, not Friday the 13th, I'm sorry, uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street, everybody loves Robert England. It's not a Robert, it's not a Nightmare on Elm Street without... Robert England. I actually like Jackie Earl Haley when he played Freddy Krueger in the remake. So I don't really have that issue. If the person is good in the role, the person is good in the role. And I like to see the diversity of the portrayal of the character. So if he does come back, which I do like Break as the Creeper, that'd be cool. If not, they can get somebody that can uh, be just as impressive with the character. And I'm good with that as well. Now, to get more into the story, from what I could find out, is is going to focus on this girl named Lane, which it always seems to focus on a female. And she's with her boyfriend, Chase, who goes to this horror convention, horror hound festival. And it's basically Comic-Con, but it's just like horror-based stuff. And the Creeper shows up. So, I mean, that actually seems like a really good premise. I mean, how can you sit here and catch a killer? That's eating people and kidnapping, killing, kidnapping people and killing people and eating people and everything when he's in a horror face festival. You know, you can't see what this guy looks like. Now, the problem with horror festival type stuff is generally it can come off as being corny. It can come off as being a bit cheesy. But for something like Jeepers Creepers, I actually think it's actually a good premise. This man is literally just blending in in plain view. So... I actually think that this is probably a this is a really good premise. This is what Jeepers Creepers three should have been. Um, now, if we are going to have this again, I think it just should just actually fit into the actual timeline of the series. I think after Jeepers Creepers two, in which it it's almost twenty three years later. Uh, than the first film because the first film dropped in two thousand one and in the series in the f series. Uh, in the series of movies, it's like within the last three days of his, you know, him being awoke and everything. And here it is, 2021, which is 20 years later. And it's not too much of a stretch to say, hey, this movie could actually happen after the original trilogy. So I hope that it get, does get taken into consideration. Now, one thing I heard and I've read that I did not like about this film so far was the fact that. The girl's going to have premonitions. And if you hadn't watched my uh, videos concerning this in the Break of the Base episode, I hate the fact that these characters have premonitions about, about it. Even when it came to the comic book edition, which the comic was actually really good as well. The main character in the comic had visions. I'm not opposed to Creeper having to deal with, uh, you know, the main character having visions and stuff. But as I said, then why is it every single movie is a character has visions about this, this creature? And usually the visions really are pretty useless. They don't really do anything. They don't provide a lot of, you know, backstory or anything like that towards the Creeper. The second movie did a bit better. And the way I, had see, I see it is this movie should have been, uh, even in the, my regular discussion about the Jeepers Creepers, not every movie it should have been a psychic character. It should have been Giselle from the first movie who tried to stop the creeper because she actually had visions and it wasn't and this is preceding, you know, the visions uh the preceding the movie itself and not just popping up during the damn movie for convenience. But it should have been Giselle with these visions about the creeper killing people and she's trying to stop it. And every movie should have been that premise. The first movie was Jay, uh, the, the the siblings traveling through the countryside. The second movie was, should have been her trying to uh, uh, stop the creeper from killing these kids on the bus. And then the third one is she should have she should have banded with these cops to try to find out where the hell this creeper is while trying to save people's lives. So I actually think that if they're going to have the psychic stuff, they should bring Giselle back, who should come there to try to save these people. Or they shouldn't have the premonitions at all. But if they can actually do the premonitions in a healthy way without making it cheesy, actually make the vision and stuff, you know, useful and everything, I'm for it. I'm, I'm for it. It's like when you, you know, when you watch, uh, what's that series, um, 
Final Destination and people have visions and then you realize the visions are pretty useless because they don't save anybody you know so, um, so I, I would like to see that but you know I hope that it's, I hope that it is a good movie. I hope that they can take this in a different direction. I hope that the production value is there. I hope the acting is there, and hopefully, you know, they'll drop a list and know who's be playing in the movie and everything. So, like I said, so far I think it's a really interesting premise, and I'm ready to see where they're gonna go with it. I don't have much faith in the writer because his B movie listing, and I don't have really uh, that much faith in the director because so far he ain't really done shit. So, alright then, uh, this is for that one viewer that did request this video, and I'm glad that he did because I hadn't, I'd heard about the Jeepers Creepers were born, but I hadn't really put too much thought in it, so it was a good topic to actually get into. Uh, having said that, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what are your thoughts about Jeepers Creepers were born, what did you like about the actual um, series, what ideas you think they should bring to the table when it comes to this film. Be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what we got going on on this channel. And we'll definitely catch you guys later.